even like collapse. Wait, was I supposed to collapse? What? No, like you were just you were you were actually slowing down like a machine cooling off <laughs> in your speech. I mean that that does happen a lot. Does it? I Not really. I feel like it happens especially when I'm thinking and trying to make decisions where my pacing just gets super awkward. And I'll be like every two seconds just stopping and thinking and being like, oh no, what is happening? Sounds like you need some charisma coaching. Possibly, yes. Where could she go for that? <laughs> exactly. Where can I find her? It's uh, Andrew Simonetta. Feels really weird saying my name. And, and, and Andy Simon says, "No, no. Andy. fucking call me Andy. Andy. Fuck you, Andy. fuck you. No, don't do it. My name is Noob Pro Pro Pokedo Poke. I don't give a shit. Call me Proke. That's apparently my cha- my name in another channel. All right, Poke. <laughs> I just said." Just, just fucking instead of saying poke, I'm just gonna poke you from now on. I mean, that's very on brand for you and for me. Yeah, I'll respond. I might respond with a fist to the face, but that's just a reflex. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a call, guys. Be me. <gasps> Yay! Oh, we we start the podcast and immediately everything just falls apart. Oh, that's usually how it goes, right? I'm pretty sure. I was gonna play podcast. it on. Uh, I was going to play it on mic, but it was some scam. So mm. oh. I wanted to scam oh. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the IRS calling. We would like your social security number and your bank account info. No, Wait, this. They... Okay, thanks. <laughs> did they leave like a stupid message that's like super broken? Like, hello, car insurance. <laughs> and then oh, it just we, get, <laughs> we get those sometimes, but we also get. Um, like my favorite one is when it like this one just starts playing like very beautiful elevator music and this comes out with very aggressive Chinese language. Like those are the ones that just get me every time. Oh my god. Like just be what the f-? <laughs> Who That's recorded like- these separate tracks? Who did this? This is not how you do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I missed it. What'd you miss? Fuck. What'd you miss? Uh, it, so there's this thing called the Analog Pocket that's basically a Game Boy, but good. Er. Ooh, good. Er. Yeah, and it, it, it had like adapters to play like other different uh, game, like portable game systems. And it looks really cool. And I'm just going to drop it here so you guys can see it. Uh, it's very sleek, has a bigger screen. Uh, probably the best way to play any kind of uh, portable games. Uh, it was two hundred dollars, and it's out of fucking stock within like maybe an hour. Oh dang! So, so uh, yeah, I didn't have the money for it anyway, but still, it's nice looking. Now I can be depressed and look at the out of stock symbol. Just click that button. Uh, I it, I was I was kind of hoping to get one eventually, cause I want to be able to play Pokemon with the bigger screen instead of the small screen that I have, because I think it's a little bit bigger than the 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 SP. Possibly, I don't remember. I know I looked in that, into it before. I don't know. It's been a bit. And it charged. It had a rechargeable battery pack. That's what it was. That was the big thing for me, because because I don't like having to put batteries in things. Because batteries yeah. are annoying. They are, man. I I've been tempted to do like a mod or something where just um. You ch- have you seen? I don't know if you've seen the mods where they just put in a rechargeable battery pack and then you kind of like open up a little hole so you can charge it. So much nicer than having to put new batteries in. Am I right? Like What's every a battery? Time, 
What do you mean? What's a battery? Everything has a battery I'm these concerned. days. Very concerned. No. You're scaring me. <laughs> Every time I get a thing and I find out it doesn't have rechargeable batteries, I kind of cry inside. Uh, I keep having to buy rechargeable batteries and I don't like it because they're expensive. Do you know how fucking expensive those things are? It's crazy. I don't actually. I'm I'm gonna pull it up actually because I just bought some. It was like twenty bucks for like eight double A batteries. What? Those, no. Hold on. Let me let me pull it up. And Amazon. Well, Cause you're buying from Amazon. There's your first problem. Rechargeable. What the fuck do you mean? That's the cheapest I've ever seen fucking batteries. I'm pretty sure we bought like packs of fifty double A's. Oh, here I'm for like wrong. Thirty five bucks. No, I'm not I wrong. Think it's because they're rechargeable. Like if they weren't oh, rechargeable. Rechargeable. Oh yeah. my yeah. bad. Okay, yeah, rechargeables are expensive. Yes. Yeah, no, it's uh twenty bucks for eight or thirty for sixteen. Wow. Man, I don't got money for that. And I ain't spending nine dollars on a pack of twenty for regular ass batteries, because they're just gonna go to waste in like ten minutes, cause Game Boys like to suck that power. Suck. Oh. It's a big suck. Doing the suck. Doing yeah. does suck. I don't know. Yeah. Plus, I don't know. I guess it saves on battery waste or something. But what? It's, it's one. Well, person. it saves on battery acid because you can't destroy battery acid. Like we can't. We can't get rid of acid. So I'm not it's quite detrimental possible. to the environment. Mm hmm. Hmm. Man. Boy, what the hell is going on in this world? I don't know anymore. Well, there's a lot of That's thunderstorms really that's happening. Different. Oh, right, you've had storms. We're getting a hurricane tomorrow. We're getting what? Tomorrow? We're getting, oh, we're getting the the back end of a hurricane, so it's gonna be like a tropical depression or something like that. I thought it is that the one from Florida. Yeah, oh, I thought it already. Man. I thought it already downgraded to a tropical storm. Did it go back out? Probably. I don't know. It's gonna hit us eventually. No, it didn't go back up. It's it's going to be a tropical depression by the time it gets here, if that. Yeah. But it's going to be pouring rain tomorrow. And oh boy, I'm going to cry because I got to work. Hell yeah. Ugh. Great. Good thing I don't live where hurricanes happen. Yeah, you just. Uh... Same. The earth decides to, you know, maybe shift a little bit, just scooch on over to the right a little bit, you know? What the fuck? There was. Okay, speaking of, there was. A time when was this? Have you been through? I want to say it was. I have yes. Like, I I can't remember if it was late last year or early this year. I think it was late last year. There was a weekend where my boyfriend and I went to LA for like the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we were in this giant store. I can't remember what it was. It, it was kind of like this giant novelty store that mm -hmm. people go to. I can't remember what it was called. It's it's bothering me because... It's not Spencer's or anything, right? No, I think like the word soap was in it. So Okay, that's, that's got to be I don't reasonable. remember someone, if you're listening to this... Maybe you know what it is. It's like this giant store that has a bunch of weird shit in it. And it's super big. And it just has like everything. But we were in the store. And suddenly there was an earthquake. And we're all just in the store. And we're like, uh, okay. And then my boyfriend and I were like, we're going to step outside before things maybe fall over. <laughs> and so we stepped outside. And it turns out that... I can't remember how many miles away it was, but it was pretty close because it was like a 6.7 earthquake. Damn. And we didn't feel much of it. Like, we weren't falling over or anything, but it, like the, the ground was wobbling and stuff. You're we like, oh, mm. okay. Yep, fun times. We had a friend who at the same time was at a wedding and... A chandelier fell from the ceiling, but oh. everyone was drunk enough that they didn't fucking <laughs> care. Oh. They didn't notice the chandelier just fucking plopped from the, <laughs> from the roof. Muzzles off and just keep partying. Was it a Greek wedding? I'm sure they're used to hearing plates explode, so. 
I don't know. He speaks but, from experience. Yeah. I do. We threw a plate once. <laughs> I mean, I've thrown a plate once too, but it wasn't for a wedding. Yeah. Oh, man. Now my mom got mad at me because we weren't supposed to throw the plates. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there was throwing plates and regular plates. Oh, I was like oh, seven. How the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> Gamma's like, I was 22. <laughs> That'll cost you $25, ma'am. What the fuck, Gamma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted it's like you were there. Trying to make, he was just trying to make friends. He just oh, wanted to make friends <laughs> by smashing plates with other people. Oh man! Gotta but love yeah, I think that was cousins. the last earthquake I was in. Oh. <laughs> Fairly recently. <laughs> but yeah, I've been in earthquakes before. Honestly, uh, when I went, when I started going to college, that was like the most times I had felt earth, felt earthquakes. Because like here back at home, because I live in NorCal and like I go to college in SoCal, and people would feel earthquakes here, and I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I never feel them up here. Like, there was the one time I felt one, because there was one What's fairly a good thing, close man? by. But, like, I feel like I miss out every time. Well, you don't live on the Canadian Shield. You'll always miss out if you live where I am. Mm. Literally, we can't have earthquakes here. Or if we do, they're extremely minor. We've had two, and both times I've been on a bridge and never felt it. Oh, interesting. What? Yeah. It's crazy. Well, I do you know what the Canadian Shield is? I don't know. It's like a really thick part of bedrock in Canada. So basically, like, there's so much between us and the and the and the plates shifting. We basically cannot. Like, it's it's extremely unlikely that we have any severe earthquakes. Mm. Like, I think the highest we have is like a four, maybe a six. That's it. Like, we can't get them here. Same thing with tor- like I'm actually 15 minutes away from Tornado Alley in my area. But, like, I live in a very mountain, well, very hilly area, and there's not a lot of water, unless you look at, like, a lake or two in swamp water. So, we we can't have natural disasters. They, they were saying, like, oh, yeah, tornado's gonna drop. I'm like, yeah, probably, like, five minutes, because it's gonna hit so many forests, it's just gonna die off after a while. Uh, I think mm-hmm. the closest I've ever been to an earthquake is, like, there was one in Delaware a while back, I guess. And that's about it. I don't think we've... Have we had... I'm going to look this up if we've had an earthquake. <laughs> Has there been an earthquake? That's all he puts in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's uh, it. <laughs> that's it. Like, I've had ones where I've woken up in the morning, and my bed will, like, shake a tiny bit, and they'll be like, oh, I guess that was an earthquake. <laughs> I found one. But it's not, like, all the time. You know, Hello, damn you. Be awkward. so apparently this website says that there was a small earthquake that shook no- northern New Jersey, which is nowhere near me. It doesn't give me a day or a time, but it says the U.S. Geological Survey says the magnitude 1.4 quake was recorded at 12. Oh, wait, 1206 a.m., but it still doesn't give me like a date. It just is the time, but not the date. It's just like, yeah. Is that just measuring seismic activity in general? Because seismic activity is always happening. I mean, mm-hmm. is a one four point four earthquake like bad? I don't know. No, no, that's like points. nothing. <laughs> Once you start reaching like six and a half, seven, that's when, that's when people start getting worried. Damage. Okay, yeah. I yeah. actually found something with information. Uh, August twenty third, two thousand eleven. New Jersey felt a tiny bit of Virginia's point, uh, 5.8 uh, earthquake. Oof. Great. Oh, this might I, be the one I was talking about, actually. I want to say I've only felt, like, threes. Like, because, like, I have, I've never really been in, an, in the epicenter of an earthquake. Yeah. But, but, like, by the time it gets to me, it's, like, three or lower, and so it's, like, it doesn't make much of a difference to me. Um, knock on but then the people the near the middle are freaking out and buying gas and trying to leave because you know yeah. earthquakes are terrible. Yeah, and I Man. feel bad. Am I the only one whose family was like, "Yeah, let's save some gas in the basement"? 
you know, Maybe. you never want to well, I'm sure burn some people, the place down. I'm sure some people save gas in their basement. I don't have a basement, so I physically can't. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Man. I think we had one tank of gas in our garage, I think. But that's... We don't keep it very long. Like, I think my dad takes one for the snowblower. If, uh... That makes sense. If it's gonna be a bad winter. But we wouldn't store it in the house. That's just... That's not good. <laughs> Lawnmower, too, for us. Or it's electric. Well, good for Never you, dropping David. electric lawnmowers. Ever again. They're so good. Why are they good? They're good? Are they that oh, good? As long as you have a long enough extension cord. Like, it works for us. And we have plugs in the front and back, mm. so... Okay. Mm-hmm. Man. We live in suburbia where plugs exist outside. <laughs> no. I mean... <laughs> Every house I've ever been in doesn't have a working outside outlet, so. Oh well, that's Hog. just that's just yeah. poor management then. I mean, yeah, I guess. When my dad used to mow our lawn, I think our our oh. lawn mower ran on gas, but our trimmer was electric. So he would just like plug in the extension cord because we had we had outlets like in our garage near the door. So you just like use a long ass extension cord that would always be incredibly tangled and twisted. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. And just do that. Lawns are work. Yeah, they <laughs> are. Work. That's why they call it yard work. But I'm tis. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now uh, most people are just paving over their lawns, which is actually not good. <laughs> it's not great. But paving I mean, over, like just yeah. taking the grass out and just replacing it with not stone even or something. Just we literally putting grass. stone down. Oh, I see. Just in the middle, <laughs> just smacking it in. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying they're doing it well, but jeez. Something. Um, Welcome to the PGRC. This is episode oh, yeah. twenty-two. I forgot we didn't Two? say our intro. I, I think it's oh yeah, twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. It, it's almost Whoa. halfway there. Half, we're almost we're there. we're almost one fourth of the way to Jesus is my homeboy. Yep. Oh, God, what is it like? We're gonna get there, and it, it's, it's gonna be like I a don't five know minute it's... conversation. It's yeah. gonna be less than five minutes. It's just me explaining. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck this is supposed to mean and why 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 do you guys want to hear about this? Yeah. Just saying. Okay, I have a question what? for the listeners. Who? How um, the hell are you listening to this podcast, but you've skipped episode 10 and 16? How? Um, Wait, what do you mean specifically 10 and 16? There's no views on 10 or 16. Wow. But there's like I, people who started the most in episode three because <laughs> it was about listen. gamer jam. We oh, aren't we hilarious. aren't listener shaming, okay, noob. I would just I like to will point out shame. I literally just told somebody about the podcast last night, and they're like, "Okay, I'll try listening to this or the newest one, and then I'll try going through from the <laughs> beginning." Shouts out to you, person who I who shame was very kind in letting me share the information on that. Wink, mm. wink. Um, yeah, so t- welcome to Shame. me running out of things to, to, to panic about. Uh, panic. I mean, panic. we're always in a constant state of running out of things to talk yeah. about. We're really not. You just yeah, think like, we're, 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 like we say we're running out of things, but we're really not. I know. <laughs> it's like, in all honesty. I think that's the point of the podcast is to run about run, run out of good ideas and then just talk about what the fuck ever. No, no, then we then we just become completely like you we just become re- completely replaced by people who can actually do good things. Man. Oh, that reminds oh. me. Um so it's oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Okay, so I, I was about to say this before the podcast started, and then mm-hmm. Gamma wanted to bring Craig in. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Bitch. But when I woke up, I saw Replace Ellen 
<laughs> oh yeah, I see that too. <laughs> what? Why? It's just a bunch of people talking about replacing Ellen with a bunch of other different people. Like Ellen Page. Or Why? um Adam Sandler? Oh. Yeah, I feel like Adam well, Sandler and some other people. Apparently Ellen's a huge fucking asshole, especially to her uh show crew. Yeah, this has been like an ongoing thing yeah. for a while. Mean, I've heard what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Man. I don't know why it decided to start trending now of all times, uh, but it's people have nothing to care. See, people are, see as much as we talk about how we're gonna run out of things, people have lost the ability to cancel. They don't know what to cancel anymore. So I guess they need, they need purpose. I guess I'm just gonna scroll down this list. Well. I think I saw an article that said the Ellen show was actually off air due to allegations. Uh, oh, but sure. like, can you check that for me, Gamma? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. Because uh, I feel like I saw an article. I didn't actually go into the, it. But... Is the Ellen show canceled? <clears throat> no, don't type it like that, because then you're going to see nothing but Twitter. When a, when a Twitter <laughs> user mentions the notion of the Ellen DeGeneres show getting canceled, executive producer Andy Lassner. Reply with a brief comment. Nobody's going off the air. Dot, dot, dot. It should be noted that at this time, NBC has not made any indication that the Ellen DeGeneres show will be canceled. This is oh, okay. there you go. So. Okay. Okay. So, so, so he's lying, is what this article is telling me. Hmm. I mean, if you ask somebody, hey, is your show getting canceled? They're not going to say, yeah, it's getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm all in on that. Yeah, fuck it, man. We're we're done. We're just we, everybody was like, "No, nah, stop fucking doing it." And we we're like, "All right, t- t- fuck it." Listen to Pro Poker a couple of episodes ago, and hell yeah, sounds cool to be canceled. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Spoiler: Don't get canceled. It's bad. Yeah, don't bad don't get you. canceled. Also, it's don't be a health. scumbag. How's that a spoiler? Spoiler: <laughs> Don't be a scumbag. At <laughs> You know, you know that person you yelled at because they got your coffee wrong. You're a fucking asshole. You are, you are actually an mm-hmm. asshole. Like, stop yelling at people who get their coffee wrong. People make mistakes. Yeah. Stop being that guy. Stop drinking, yeah, stop drinking coffee. Yeah, stop drinking coffee. That's a bet. Yeah, they're trying to help you. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh I'm scrolling down Twitter, oh and I'm just like, oh look, a new a, a newscaster interviewing somebody, and then it pans to the side. With some dude wearing this big ass skeleton mask outside of a fucking Walmart or something. What? Oh no, it's outside of a Dick's. Oh man, I can't. I can not hear like, the whole. Or... Oh, I'm gonna watch this real quick. Right, I've heard of Dick's. The one we're talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's okay. So he is. Pr- She's asking, oh, you purchased your costume for Halloween this year already. What is it? He's wearing the fucking skeleton mask thing. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Okay. It's just him with the shit-eating grin, like, turning around with his real face. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Man, that was, that, that, was, that was fucking out of nowhere. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Twitter's weird, man. Really? Uh, mm-hmm. This is why I'm going to TikTok only. <laughs> that, well, or, funny think... story, Gamma. Yeah. What? Tick, what? Did I, you know what? I'm going to get all the views on TikTok. I'm yep. going to be one of those anime... Not anime. I don't know what the fuck they are. You know the people do like the, the, the slowed down talking to things, but it, all, but it gets speeded up? Uh-huh. I'm going to do that. What? Where they, they try like, to be animated, even though I can't show emotion on my face, apparently. <laughs> like, back when TikTok used to be musically, I know it was a super big thing. I don't know if it's still a super big thing. But um, people would... I don't know exactly how it works, because I never used it. But you would take a song, right? And you would put it at, like... You would slow it down by, like, 50% or whatever. And then you would lip sync to it. And everything, and oh, yeah, then yeah. it would actually like speed itself up back to full speed. Oh, that's weird. 
it looks cool when people do it, but yeah. I will find this. I don't know if it's still a thing. I'm trying to find it. It's really hard to find this stuff. Man, fuck it. I'm going to Vine 2.0. <sighs> it's bullshit. I can't wait for you to shake hands with Bill Gates. Bill who? Exactly. Bill Gates. Whoa. I'll shake his hand to leap. Just like, no. What? <laughs> you ever shake somebody's hand and not stop until it gets really awkward and they're very uncomfortable? No. I only shake hands for like. I do that with seconds. assholes. What? <laughs> because I want them to know. I want them to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> You just That's my way of at them, like dead in the eyes. Oh, like... oh yeah, you got to keep eye contact though. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't man. get the point across if you don't keep constant eye contact. He's mm -hmm. right. He is right. And then when they start like getting a little clammy in the hand, then that's when that's when you're like, all right, all right, I might let go. And then you start you start letting loose a little bit, but mm -hmm. then you go in for an even tighter grip. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just imagine you sitting there for five minutes, just oh yeah, shaking hands with this person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They try to get away, but mm -hmm. I don't like them. Sometimes if they're if they're fucking super assholes, I just I just start holding their hand at that point. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you make people uncomfortable. People mm -hmm. don't do it unless they're an asshole. Easy peasy. <gasps> oh man, a PlayStation State of Play got announced oh. for the sit. Oh, Thursday, sick. I'm off. Ooh. Nice. At uh, 4 p.m. normal people time and 1 p.m. Raz time. 4 p. Wait, f excuse four, me, what? 4 p.m. normal people time. Normal people time? Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. I live in normal people time? You're not normal. We're normal. I'm Right, Gamma? I mean, there's two of us. We outnumber you, Raz. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Being normal is lame anyway. Yeah, you don't want to be us. Don't be us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a curse. It's a curse of normality. Does that mean I'm a cool kid? No. No. Oh. You can't be cool to be on this podcast. That's just. I just realized I can't do that awkward handshake anymore because we're not allowed to shake hands with people. You, you do you the, can... No, you do the awkward. You do the awkward stare. Oh yeah, no, I I space. You know what? I do space out a lot, and sometimes people are standing in the direction I'm spacing out, and then they get really weirded out because I'm staring, but oh, I'm no. not trying to stare at them. I'm just kind of like staring in the direction, uh -huh. and then they get really uncomfortable, and then I notice, and then I'm like, "Are they a dick? No. All right, I'll stop looking. Are they a How... dick? I'm gonna keep looking. How does one? Space I'm gonna look out? harder. Like easily. How do you guys do it? I don't easily. get it. I don't know. I don't I get it because like I like I'm meditating now every day. And by the way, if I didn't meditate today, I'd probably be so god dang pissed after all the hots games that I played before mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Um like it was just last night. No no well no last night we were playing Deep Rock Galactic. Today we were playing Hots. Oh man. Um but like I just I sit there and I watch my sister and she'll just be like with this really weird, like a mimic head tilt. With like a smile on her face, or just like a stare, like she's been mesmerized by somebody hanging mm -hmm. like, a, I don't know, a, 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 a like a gluten free hot dog in front of her face, mm -hmm. and because she's out, and fun. and, <laughs> <laughs> and she just be like, sorry, and I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> what is happening? Like, For so... me, I think it's mainly like a like a daydreaming or like actually thinking about something type of thing mm -hmm. or i won't be actually focusing on what's going on around me or like there'll be times where i'll look at like like if i'm actually trying to just like space out and not think of anything i'll look at like a point on a wall and i'll just focus on the point and not think about anything else i mean that is i guess that's of more of like a form of meditation yeah yeah it's very similar to what i do but except that it's my ADD making me think about things, and then my anxiety kicking in is like, yeah, but what about that thing I did when I was nine and 
fuck? <laughs> it, it looked really awkward, and and they're probably still mad about it. And 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 and. Mm, oh, I and hate when that keep... happens, and I'm about to go to sleep. Oh, and then you just can't sleep for hours. Yeah, that's that's my favorite part about that. <laughs> or like, I'll start thinking about things, and then like I might be like spacing out for a bit and just like laying there mm -hmm. and then at some point i might just like get up and start pacing and then i'll realize i'm pacing like 30 minutes later and then try to like go back to bed and then i'm like i can't <laughs> yeah yikes i like laying down in my bed getting all comfy and drinking some tea and then i'm like you know what remember that time i was like 14 and i busted my ass in front of that girl that fucking what I liked at some point. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. What? I, I bet she remembers that too. Busted my ass as in like fell down. Oh. oh. I thought you were like twerking before twerking no. was cool. It's never <laughs> funny. The first thing I would have assumed was farting, but okay, that works too. No, I, I would just be like, hey baby, and just start shaking his ass and be like, I know women like this, and what the that's fuck? when Gamma learned. Women don't like that. <laughs> that's how I get canceled. Maybe some do. If, if if you can twerk like legit props on you because i have no fucking idea how people do it no i can't my butt's too firm <laughs> yeah my my ass is too tight too there's, there's no way i can twerk oh man <laughs> <laughs> my posterior <laughs> is quite gluteous wait wasn't Max there a enough. spongebob episode where like patrick's ass was like all like uh what, what was it like tense like springed up or whatever what the fuck like, the uh, what was it? Hold on. Patrick. Was it the one where S. with the cramps? Like was it yeah, the cramps, like the cramps. That's what it was. <laughs> ah, all right, Patrick ass cramps. There we go. <laughs> oh my god! I found the clip. <laughs> yeah, this this is what my ass looks like. Oh, good. Let's take a look. Man, that's an ass. Oh wait, never mind. Oh no, never mind. It doesn't the show the thing I'm thinking of. Damn it! I this, swear to God, I'm not imagining this. by itself is just a lot. I'm not imagining this. I swear. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna delete this one. This is mm -hmm. the right one. I'm watching yeah, anyway. Hold on, I can find this. There we go. I found it. Okay, like ten seconds in on this one. His it it just starts twisting up. Yeah, that's me. That's why I can't twerk. <laughs> My ass is too twisty. I don't even know how twerking became a thing. Don't it's get me wrong, it's sexy. impressive. Is it? It can be. I never would have assumed. I mean, it can be. Isn't it, isn't it just a dance move? I don't know. A it's a dance, dance move, yeah. It's a like, sex thing, but it's a dance move. I don't know. I still prefer the Carlton. I just prefer the Tom Jones part of that Carlton. I mean, isn't that all of it, though? Well, I mean, his dance is very iconic. Yeah, it's swinging back and forth. But it's not For just a like... snow. See, that, that, dis that, that discredits the beauty that is the Carlton. Mm -hmm. The Carlton goes beyond just a swing. It's like the most charismatic combination of legs and arms a man could ever produce in life. A legs person. Could ever and arms. I mean, the hips in there too, but it's connected to legs. So I mean, legs. You mean the good. movement of the legs and arms, not just the legs and arms. <laughs> no, legs and arms became one that day. He was like, I could be the flaily noodle guy outside of car shops. I'm going to do it too, but be cooler about it without the wind. And he did it. Oh. And now he's famous. Was he trying to take that out of Fortnite at some point? Pretty sure he was, right? He was like the first uh, person to complain about their dance being used in Fortnite. I think. So there was, I know there was someone else who complained. I, yeah, there was yeah, that kid. I think he was the first, though. I think he was the uh, first. Yeah, and then that kid was like, no, nah, that's my dance. But then, then they proved it wasn't his dance. And then he's <laughs> like, well, fuck. I I like, we actually. Work. Where's my yeah. Fortnite box? Can you imagine losing the rights to your game over the fact that you stole someone's dance when you could have just not done that to begin with? I mean, they like wouldn't you... lose the rights. They would lose a lot of money, though. Well, you might as well just lose the rights at that point. 
If I gotta pay out more because I keep that in, I might as well just take it out. We're get, like getting yeah, in trouble yeah, yeah. for putting something like that. Just don't copyright shit. Just don't do it. Not that you could copyright it. Can you copyright a dance? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can? Yeah. I forget what the specific laws are, but yes, oh. you can. Yeah. But there are... I know it's like it has to be like a certain length. Like you can't just say like... I think I think that was one of the things with like flossing, for example. Like it's such a simple thing that... I, I want to say someone was talking... Like someone was upset about the flossing thing or like some simple dance move that it wasn't like a completely choreographed thing so therefore it wasn't really protected under copyright because it wasn't long enough hmm. if that makes sense yeah it makes sense that's bizarre yeah. copyright and patent laws are fucking weird mm -hmm. it, like i just watched a video about dip and dots and dip and like, dots mm -hmm. yeah I, I like watching this one guy. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shout him out, even though he's already a bigger YouTuber. I watch this dude called Company Man, and it's really interesting the type of videos he does because he like looks back on like either failing or like thriving businesses or. or uh, Am I on there? Stuff. <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, yeah. He's like you're neither. You're you're, you're what nothing. Kind of, what kind of, I mean, Thanks, it, not, we're talking like Kmart, fucking Chuck E. Cheese, um. Dippin' Dots. <coughs> uh, fucking, what else? Oh, yeah, to uh, Toys R Us was actually the first video I watched. He talked about, like, uh, why it was closing and what, what kind of led to it. Which is really interesting. So if you, if you like that kind of stuff, go check it out. I, it's very, I, I like watching it. Um, so basically, uh, Dippin' Dots kind of kind of uh, started out really cool, went downhill, bankrupt, and then, and then they came back because this guy's like, yeah, let me buy some of this stuff. And he's like, I'm a, I'm a run this thing, this, this shit real tight. And then, and then, uh, actually the reason they went bankrupt was because they got into a legal dispute with a company called, what was it? Like Melton, Melton, something. Oh, Milton Bradley. No, Mel, no, no, like, oh. um, fuck. I'm going to have to skip through this. Where oh, is it? Uh. <laughs> melt, 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 oh, here we go. It's uh, mini melts, mini melts, and mini melts was was making basically dipping dots, oh. and and dipping mm. dots was like, no, nah, fuck that, but that's my patented, patented uh, technique of making ice cream and then dripping it into the liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And then and then Mel Mini Melts is like, nah, fam, we're okay to do this. And then Dippin' Dots is like, no. And then they're like, I'm calling the government on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the government's like, bruh, we got some laws and shit that you gotta pay attention to. So like, you know how you made Dippin' Dots and you you patented it, did 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 it. Well, mm -hmm. tough shit, nerd, because we got a rule where if you don't patent your shit within a year of selling it, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. And they were fucked. So they had to pay out a fuck ton of money to Mini Melts. And Mini Melts was like, I, <laughs> we got money now. And then Dippin' Dots went into bankruptcy, and then, and then that guy bought stuff. And now, now they're, they're dipping their dots everywhere, except not anymore, because they usually, they usually, uh, are in like amusement parks and stuff. Yeah. Places that they bring the food to you. I know there are actual dip and dots locations though. Yeah. Oh, there are. Yeah. I've never been in one though. Like their their big thing was the fact that like they were in like malls and mm -hmm. amusement parks and play like carnivals and shit because they had the the equipment to do that there. Right. They can't really sell dip and dots in stores. Because they need like a certain temperature uh, freezer for the Dippin' Dots, otherwise they'll just melt. Mm -hmm. So that was a pretty interesting thing. I like I like hearing about companies and stuff that they do and what what kind of they fucked up on and what they what they did right. So it's it's interesting. I think the last time I had Dippin' Dots was like f four years ago now. Because I went to Six Flags. And had some Dippin' Dots, there you and it was go. pretty good. But it's it's just like the shape of it that's like it's a novelty funner. thing. It's a yeah. fun shape. 
Like through tiny ice little cream. beads of ice cream. Whoa. It's dots. Like it doesn't made of taste any different. It it really doesn't. If anything, it melts faster. Mm-hmm. But it's cool because it's little spheres that you can put into your mouth hole. It's like, the ice delicious. cream of the future. That's another thing. That's that was their fucking slogan, and it it's hard to tell whether that's like, oh yeah, we think this is gonna be the ice cream of the future. If it's just a, a novelty tagline, I'm pretty I'm sure like, it's just a novelty tagline. That's what I think. Like it, it can't be. Is like, what the fuck does this do other than just like change the way that it's, uh, you know, distributed? Yeah. I, I I don't doubt that people prefer the texture of dip and dots over, you know, like regular ice cream, but it depends. Because you know. there's like soft serve, there's the type you get in a gallon tub, mm-hmm. which mm, I don't know what my favorite would be. I'd probably have to go with soft serve, right? Fuck. <gasps> no, no. I like I like the uh the 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 gallon tubs where you mm-hmm. scoop it into a bowl and then you take your spoon and you go to fucking town just smashing that shit and mixing it until it's kind of <laughs> like a milkshake but it's not oh my god oh that's my favorite part i do that and it's like yeah but it's not like a milkshake it's like a th- a, a thinner hard serve ice cream like i don't know is it called hard so- serve so what you're saying is that you beat the shit out of your ice cream oh, before yeah. you eat it. Oh, fucking demolish that shit. I just fucking smack that <laughs> motherfucker with a spoon until it's oh, like, man. okay, I give. The ice <laughs> cream is made beta. Gamma is alpha ice cream. He's alpha scoop. He's I alpha scoop. assert my dominance over the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not dominant over ice cream, he'll eat then- you. <laughs> Then the ice cream will eat me first. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I hate it so much. It's an ice all cream I'm, eat ice cream world, man. All I'm picturing is the alpha ice cream with fucking googly eyes glued onto it. <laughs> and it's got like the top of it, it, it the flap just fucking. Uh, did, did you, you thought, you, 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 thought you could eat me, bitch? And then and, and he's like, nom, nom, nom. And I'm like, well, fuck. Give me his brain with my nuts. <laughs> Get it? Because it's, a, it's, a, it's a nutty ice cream. I ate it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. It's great. Uh, well, now that we've talked about uh, murderous ice cream. Yes. Uh... But yeah, no, like, I, I like to scoop out the ice cream and put it in and I mash it up. And then it's kind of like a thick milkshake, like a really thick milkshake. And I just feel like I like the texture of it. Mm-hmm. And if I had to choose what my favorite ice cream is, I can't. You guys pick. What's your favorite ice cream? What the hell? What's your guys' favorite oh, ice creams? And man. then I'll go off of that. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, um... I know, right? One that this I can eat, or one that, one that would be like, ideal. <laughs> like the one that you feel tastes the best. Oh, man. And everybody listening, feel free to share yours in the comments on YubTub or whatever. And we would love to discuss ice cream flavors. Ice cream brownie fudge. Sorry, vanilla fr- brownie fudge. Ooh. What's that? Vanilla brownie fudge? Yeah. Is it got Sorry, like brownies in it? It's basically vanilla ice cream dipped in, f- or uh, like... With fudge poured on top of it and brownie chunks. That sounds really good. It was very good. I can't eat anymore. I'll die. But it was really good. <laughs> well, die in like the gastro sense. Yeah. That'd be not good. It's generally not when that happens. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> I don't know what my favorite is. Because like I like flavors where you have vanilla but it's with something else like kind of like what you said yeah. like the vanilla brownie fudge noob like, but i don't know i think i think more so, so i like vanilla with like fruity flavors uh-huh. i know that um before i had to move out of my apartment there were a couple times when i went to albertson's and got like this 
gelato thing. I know it's not exactly the same as ice cream, but I you mean, know they're they're, the they're similar. <laughs> they're basically the same. They're the thing. same thing. I, I like gelato better. I like how much more creamy it is. Understandable. But um, it was kind of like a parfait sort of. So it was like vanilla gelato, and it had like I know there was one that had like blueberry sauce, and there's one that had like raspberry sauce. I get it because it's raspberry. (laughs) (laughs) And then it had like, uh, not granola. Was it granola? No, it was some sort of whatever you put in parfaits. But it was like really good. (laughs) And I really liked it. Now I want ice cream and gelato. It was pretty good. Oh, for, for me. It's a very mixed bag because I like a lot of flavors of ice cream. Mm-hmm. My OP is uh, cookie dough ice cream. Ooh, nice. Um, or another top tier ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Fucking delicious. Mm-hmm. Recently, in my, in my ranch-fueled munchy sessions of finding <laughs> stuff at the Wawa, Mm-hmm. I have found, I think, probably my favorite flavor. Oh. And it's not, it's not what you would expect. So I pull up to the Weewa, and I mm-hmm. walk in, <laughs> and I'm like, I want ice cream. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll drop $8 on a Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Why not? <laughs> so I'm looking there, and I'm seeing what flavors they got. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm. Chunky Monkey, no, that's got... I think that has nuts in it. It'll kill me. Um, fucking mm, Cherry Garcia, eh, lame. Whatever. Oh. What's this? A Netflix-branded ice cream. Excuse me? I'm gonna try it out for the memes. What? Excuse me? What does what? it taste like? So what Ben & Jerry's has a flavor taste? called Netflix and Chilled. Ah. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna state what it has inside of it. It is a vanilla ice cream. Oh wait, no, it's not a vanilla ice cream. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls, which are fucking delicious. It's like uncooked, but it tastes like it's cooked. Ew. Pretzel dough <laughs> swirls, but it's not like it's not like dough dough. It's like Aww. it's like a swirl. And it's salty, and, and and then you mix that with fucking fudge brownie chunks. Oh. Oh, it's so good. And I can feel my blood sugar spiking as we speak. So, um, you're saying that it tastes like Hollywood rejects. I have no idea what that is. All I know is... People can't get on the big screen do Netflix. Oh my god. Which is not actually the case, but you know what I mean. There you go, Netflix and chilled. It's fucking delicious, and I I waste money on that whenever I can. It's so good. Huh? I love peanut butter. I love fudge brownie. I love chocolate. I love pretzels. (laughs) I love peanut butter again. Did I mention I like peanut butter? Peanut butter's great, dude. For me, with chocolate and peanut butter, I have to be in a mood for it. I can understand that. It's not for everybody. My mood is living. <laughs> I mean, you could eat this and descend to Diabeto type 3. Diabeto! Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, just fucking mm-hmm, yep. up, man. Like, if you get the chance to try it, just like if you go to a convenience store and you're like, ah, Ben and Jerry's, fuck it, I'll try something. Give it a shot, because it's really fucking good. Mm. And I would die for this ice cream. Okay, that's maybe a little much, but still. I believe this it. ice cream will kill me. Eventually. If I'm mm. going out, I'm going out with a fucking pint of this motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> Netflix and chilled in one hand, and... I don't know. Uh-huh. Mm, fuck. I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm tired. <laughs> Really? I'm sorry I was up till 7. Jeez, give me a break. Speaking of being up till 7, there's a reason I was up till 7. Oh. 
<clears throat> I might as well <clears throat> clear up my throat now. <clears throat> Voice exercises. A i u a o. A i u a o. What? Um. Gamma, <clears throat> we don't do that. All right. So I was up till seven in the morning because I was working on the bit. <laughs> oh, my bit. bit. I actually did it. I swear I wasn't going to lie this time. Yay! <clears throat> Man, I, I spent like 20 minutes on this, so. So, yeah. 20 whole minutes out of the <laughs> being up till 7. Uh, so, I, I guess I'm just going to jump into it if you guys are cool with that. Do it. <clears throat> All right. So I would just like to preface this. A lot of the anime are like that are out right now and happening this season are returning anime, like either sequels or ex extra seasons or last seasons. And I'm just I'm just gonna roll down the the, the second season. I think there's one anime. Oh wait, no, there's there's two anime that aren't actually a, a second season or a sequel. All right, so here we go. Boruto. <laughs> Remember Boruto's dad? No? Well, his kid diet now, Naruto is back with even more filler than before. <laughs> Coming back from the hiatus with an episode solely about protecting fucking beans, there's no better descriptor to show that what this series is about. It's an you okay anime. Beans or yeah, beans? Beans. What? Beans is in like, ki like fucking kidney beans. Yeah, no, the, the whole mission is just we gotta protect those beans. <laughs> gotta stop those thieves from stealing the beans. Protect the beans. <laughs> protect the beans. But it, it, it's an it's an okay anime so far. I wish there was more character development than nostalgia milking because they like to bring back older characters and stuff. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, remember when? Remember when Sasuke did that thing? Yeah, he did that thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. But hey, what can you expect? It's not even written by the original mangaka. It's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably keep up with it and skip the filler when it comes out. <laughs> One thing I did want to talk about, though, is that the current opening is lit. It's, it's a decent song, but the animation that goes along with it is a Frankenstein's monster of all the old Dadruto OPs. So, like... You're just getting like, oh, Naruto opening one animation along with like seven, and this like this nostalgia, just shoot you in the face with nostalgia. Fuck it. Nostalgia <laughs> solves everything. Hmm. Wow, I did not realize talking that long would hurt my throat. <laughs> I need. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like you don't get carried every single episode of the podcast. Wow, you asked us to. You know, fuck it. I'm not doing the rest of this now. Fuck you. No, you have to. You're too deep. You can't go back. You've started. By the way, I don't know who the fuck Boruto is. So can I get a? Uh, have you ever watched? Have you ever heard of Naruto? Done. Yeah, yeah. There was there was a big meme where it's like, oh, you know, Boruto, you 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 met, you know, fucking. That one yeah. anime you gotta watch before Boruto? Yeah, Boruto's dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so here's another anime. I actually did enjoy this one. Uh, the first season, at least. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh, you ever God. wish that when you die, you just reincarnate as a bowl of fucking Jello? <laughs> no? Well, what about Jello that can eat anything and gain the power of your food? Well, two minutes in, MC Nobs on the most powerful Dargon in the world and starts making those gains. So OP MC starts asserting his dominance and starts randomly picking up strays to the point that he has this big-ass army and is ready to run a sturdy-ass economy. Yeah, but fuck that, though. Let's just go to some school this girl he, like, talked about and teach some fucking kids. I do like this anime, don't get me wrong, but the second season starts out like a snail that got stepped on and fucking died. <laughs> Very slow. Jesus, dude. It's very slow. <laughs> Kim, I'm having you write these for my life. I need this. I need more of this. Oh, you just want a summary of your life? Dude, I, I want you to take every story I've ever told you, and I want you to give me a review. 
of those stories. Oh, god. oh my god. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. This one isn't a sequel. This is actually a new anime. Mm-hmm. I want Gamma for Food Critic. Just saying. Uh, speaking of OPFCs, <laughs> let's look at this one. The original Demon King is like, fuck it, I'll just reincarnate, because why not? This guy straight up I'm... just kills a dude with his heartbeat. And I literally can't make this shit up. Like, what can I even add to that? Fucking just kill a dude with your heartbeat. Whatever. Cool. I don't know. At some point, it feels like it takes a lot from Evangelion character design-wise. And, like, the girls that, that hang around him are literally just fucking Rei and Asuka from, from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And, you know, the main character is basically Shinji. If you got in the fucking robot, it wasn't a fucking baby. I don't know. This anime is trash, and so am I. That one was a little... All right. <clears throat> one of my favorite ones. I actually love this anime, even though I'm garbage. Uh, this anime... Who? Oh, wait. I should probably... Okay. Food Wars. Have you ever heard of Food Wars? No? Maybe? Mm-hmm. I don't know. This anime... Who, oh boy, does it have some... Sp- Spice. The term ah. foodgasm gets a new meaning, just to the point where it's able to air on late night television without issues. Food Wars is back for its final season, and damn, I'm an okay cook, but fuck, man, that shit looks hopefully dupely dim damn delicious. <laughs> oh yeah, um, don't watch it with your parents or small children around. It can get um, man, this is one spicy meatball. <laughs> I really do enjoy the fact that there's always a high stakes competition happening. Plus, I like looking at um food. Yeah, but is that the oh, one where you have to do? Is it a rhythm game where you have to blow women's clothes off? No, it's not a rhythm game. It kind you kind of just you give people a dish. Ninety percent of the time, they are women, and and stuff happens. Um, but yeah, it's still I food wars. I, I'm looking forward to finally finishing out the season because it, it's it's been it's been good. Like <laughs> the stuff that isn't fan service is actually really cool. I like it. Plus, food is actually delicious to look at, even though I was kind of being sarcastic about that. Um. All right. Oh, I'm so thinking of Sarah and Kyra. My bad. No, yeah, that's the ninjas where there's clothes fucking explode. Um, for literally yeah. no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, no, because you rhythm good. It depends on the game. Because you it's the one where you have to like feed the really old man. He's like, mm! and then like as as you do really good rhythms, like you're doing, you're, you're like chopping on meat. The other girl's just like, oh no, and then all their clothes blow off, and then they're just like seducively dancing on your screen to try and distract you from rhythm. <sighs> Center on Cogger knows what it is. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> man, fans weird. Yeah, I'm no trash. kidding. I will, I I'm not gonna lie. I watch weird shit. Whatever, man. I'm I'm my own person. Fuck it, whatever. Senra I don't think I've actually owned a Senra Kagura game. But I've just seen like random snippets and I'm like, well fuck, man. <laughs> what what's happening? <laughs> what is life? Oh god. Alright. So I got another anime for you. There's another one with the second season. Uh, I actually really enjoy this anime. Uh, it's called Fire Force. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so remember that old saying, don't fight fire with fire? Well, fuck everything you know. Fire Force <laughs> takes place in a world where people just spontaneously combust into fire demons, and firefighters literally fight fire with fucking fire. This show is actually pretty freaking sweet, in my opinion. All the characters are likable, minus one, and the story is pretty good. The second season focuses on the badass MC on missions to save his little bro from cult of firefuckers and look for a cure to stop people from doing the firing. I'm excited to see what comes from the rest of the season as long as Tamaki can keep her fucking clothes on. <laughs> I, I, I would like to give that a little context. It's really stupid and I fucking hate this thing. But apparently one of the girls, like, she has, like, this curse on her where her fucking... She's walking around and clothes just fucking fly off. And like, <laughs> the fuck like, I get wow. it. I'm a guy. Whatever. It's what? fine. What? But still. What? What? What does it matter if you're a guy? I get. Okay, well, I'm a caveman. I'm a Neanderthal. All right. I don't understand. Whatever. I don't know. I'm tired, man. Fucking keep your clothes on. All right. Fuck, I'm a guy. Fuck weird random bullshit. <laughs> Good. 
Good to know you. Hey, hey. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, I got I got the last one. I got the last one here. You would ham on this bitch. <laughs> I tried. This is I I, I kind of wanted to do like a YouTube thing where I did this stuff at one point. But I just haven't had the time, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna go through all these animes to like get clips and stuff. Gamma Ramsey, anime critic. All right. Gamma Ramsey, like <laughs> Gordon. Ramsey? Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> I don't know if I want Gamma Ramsey. I I can't imagine Gamma being like Gordon Ramsey. It's Did okay. you just hear I'll him be... talk about how I, reincarnated as a slime is literally a fucking stale that got stepped on? That's perfect. I mean, the pacing, at least. It doesn't matter. And it's oh. a snail that got stepped on and fucking died. You need that second part, no. Oh. <laughs> and died. Uh, right. I it fucking about that. died, my, yeah. My bad. my bad, sorry. That's fine. It's fine. Fucking, um... <clears throat> All right, I got the last one for you. This one I actually really wanted to talk about, but I didn't think I could do great um, with it. But well, here, whatever. So, uh, the, uh, rent a girlfriend. Sad, lonely college student gets slam dumped by his GF and gets all saddy waddy. He ends up running into a website that lets you rent out the most wholesome, not escorts the money can buy. He pays this cute girl to be a shamble man, and wacky antics ensue. I'm really enjoying my time with this anime. It's a bit slow, but every episode seems to keep my attention with the giggle here and a ha-ha there. Also, I can say no to watching kawaii anime. Girls do kawaii things. Also, the opening's bop. That's it. That's that's all I have for that. <clears throat> nice. That is, that is the bit. So come back. Tune back in for next season, this season of anime, if there is any. Because Corona slowed down production on a lot of them. Uh, <clears throat> Yay! Yeah! You did it! I did! I did the thing I promised I would do, and I didn't lie this time. Yay! Oh, uh, there was one anime I forgot. Fuck me, man. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, do it now. Do it now. Oh, no, I didn't write a thing for it. I forgot to write a thing for it. <laughs> On the spot. Show do us it how now. You do. do it. Oh, do it. fuck. Really? Yeah. On the spot. You heard my fruits basket one. Like, that was great. Do it. What are you talking about? It was great. It was great. <laughs> all right. All right. So there is, I guess there is one more. Uh, fucking ReZero. This is anime about dudes like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go to the convenience store and walk out of the convenience store. It's like, oh, fuck. I'm in a medieval uh, fucking fantasy setting now. Shit. Cool. Awesome. Whatever. So I'm, I, he's just straight up useless he's literally just a human he's just some dude like literally just some fucking dude and he runs into this girl who's like a half elf and she's like yo i'm super cool and whatever i can do magic and shit uh and then and then he gets his ass beat and she saves him and then and then later on he's like yeah i'm gonna try and help out this girl because she's kind of cute though and then and then he fucking dies and then and then oh Oh, wait, no, he didn't, though. It, it, it's back to the last time he slept. Oh, fuck. Rinse and repeat. ReZero is kind of bland. Um, main character is very unlikable. I don't like him. They tried, the, literally, the last episode, they tried to uh, make him relatable. It didn't really work for me, whatever. Parking. Also, who is Rem? Man, there's this one fucking part that pissed people off with this last season. So so he does this thing. He does the rinse and repeat, dies. Oh, he comes back with all his memories, though. So he gets, like, really OP because he knows what the fuck's going to happen. And he just keeps fucking banging his head against his fucking wall. And what happens with that is, like, oh, this one girl ends up liking him. But no, he likes the elf girl, though. But she's like, no, I really like you, though. But no, I like the elf girl, though. And then, and then, girl who likes him fucking disappears from everybody's memory, and they're like, "Who's Rem?" And then, GG, the anime's still going. <laughs> I don't, I don't. This anime's weird, man. I don't, know. I don't know why people like it so much. That's it. <laughs> That's all I had for that. I don't know. I didn't have anything for it. I told you, it's hard to do it on the spot. Okay. But you did great. <laughs> it, was a good bit. it was a good bit. 
It was a good bit until that last one. No, the whole thing was good. It's fine. Um, it's really good, good job. I, I promise I'll try to do it for the next anime season when that happens. Or fuck it. Yeah. If I just watch a random anime, I'll give you a, a, a spoiler cast review of it. How's that sound? <gasps> Yay! Because I, I did that. The reason I started doing this was because I've done this with a couple of my friends before. Uh, and the first time I ever did it, I was fucking... It was four in the morning. I had just binged the fuck out of Mariah Nikki. Mm-hmm. And I went on for about an hour just talking about how fucking stupid it was. <laughs> and it was basically what I just did. Like, generalizing stupid bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Mariah Nikki, and then actually very recently I ended up finishing reading a manga that I'm not very proud that I read, uh, Domestic Girlfriend. Wow, that series is garbage. Well, did you finish it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I'm a mm. fucking... I'm a garbage can. <laughs> 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 I am trash. I'll read whatever. I don't care. But it was it was it was fucking dumb. And I I proceeded to explain that. <clears throat> One day maybe I'll do it. Maybe not here cuz it's actually kind of graphic a little bit. But we'll we'll see. If I if something pops up, I'll be like, "Hey, you guys want me to you guys want me to do a bit? <laughs> want me to do the bit, guys? We could we could we could take care of a solid 10 minutes with this bit." Talk about that one anime I watched. It was stupid. It was really dumb. Yeah. E. E. Oh. oh. I fought with it. That's good. Sometimes more fun than watching anime. Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Man. I can't wait for the next season of anime already because all of these are. You say anime like it's the next season of NFL. <laughs> well, yeah, it's basically that. Every every season, there's new anime that air for like 12 or 13 episodes, unless they get like a second season or a continuation. Also, next season, I'm going to fucking lose my shit because they have the fucking sequel to Inuyasha, where it's like, oh, look, it's just Inuyasha and Kagome's kid. She's oh, like, oh, yeah, I was reading that this She morning. got a sword and stuff, and then oh, Sashimaru. Who the fuck did Se- Seshimaru have the, the, the sexy times with? Because <laughs> he didn't like humans, but his kids are half human. Who knows? Apparently a lot of people do, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the answer to that. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that is. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's not stupid. It is anime. <laughs> wow. Wait, way to bash on something I love, Noob. How could you? You do it all the time to me. I mean, you're right. Yeah, fuck high school. Fuck going to school. Yeah. Oh, I meant HOTS, but thanks, Gamma! <laughs> what are you talking about? I played HOTS! Yeah, you still shit on it. I jokingly shit on it. You don't I even play it, and I would play it again. It. Like how I shit on anime, so it's even. <laughs> Listen... That it, it's one joke that I like to bring up, and it's it was the, when they stopped the when the they most. stopped supporting it. All right, I it's was joking. It's not actually a dead game. If it was, it a dead is game, a dead game. That's the worst if, part. If it was a dead game, the servers would be down, noob. Okay. Uh, that, you know what? I will say. Here's the storm servers. I've been up longer than ten times. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. yeah. What's the fucking deal with ten times? I think we Do- sort of talked about it. Like, well, with the prices going up as they put out updates. Yeah, the Pokemon yeah. killer that keeps getting more and more expensive. I mean, they said it was going to happen though. They said they were going to up it with updates. The thing that annoys me the most is the prices going up with stuff that was supposed to be out at the original price. At least from what what I understood as a, as a consumer. Um. And that know. seems to be kind of like, I don't know if that's just a consensus among people like me who didn't understand how much it was going to be. But again, since I've watched since Alpha Phase, the I feel like the price is going up at the wrong times. I don't think enough is coming out to legitimize. Like stuff is coming out after they're raising the price when that stuff should have been out with the price where it was at. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like it doesn't have enough content to fucking merit what it what they charge for it. I mean, like, along with, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 go. I was just going to say, along with the fact that, like, 
if I'm going to be playing something like Pokemon, I might as well just play fucking Pokemon, right? Like, well, I have to learn thing. the system it's... all over again. Yeah, like, the thing that annoys me is... Obviously, you're going to have those dummies who are going to be like, girls, oh, go destroy Pokemon. Like, every other freaking monster collector tries to do or doesn't. Yeah. Because they don't want to, because Pokemon is literally the goddamn, like, you Zeus can't. of this shit. You're yeah, not going to kill can't. Pokemon until it kills it. Literally, Pokemon has to doom itself. It will not be taken over. You cannot doom it. There are too many of us that like it. I say it's a trash game all the time, and I still love the game because I make fun of it for all the shit that is bad about it. But, like, literally, if I take the game seriously, yeah, I'm just dumb for taking Pokemon as a serious game, right? The game is built for kids, and we do stuff with it to make it fun for us because we're devoted fan bases. I'm not saying you should be devoted to to Temtem. Temtem is a good game. But, like, the game is up to 50 bucks, right? And it's an MMO. I get it. And you have a story that you play through. That's cool. It's it's literally just another, like, the mechanics are different enough in it for me not to say it's just another Pokemon clone. But the Psy Park that they have, to my knowledge, just Safari Zone where you, go, where you go breeding it and it goes on a rotation, right? It goes on a daily, weekly, whatever rotation. The, the, the competitive sure pays out, but it's just, it follows its own thing of doubles, which is okay because the whole game is based around doubles. So unless you're looking for different, like battle mechanics and no RNG, which is a big thing. Like if you're on a competitive Temtem's not for you and you're not going to sell it to casual people for 50 bucks, right? You're literally trying to almost take, you're hoping that the fan base of competitive Pokemon players are going to go pay 50 bucks to, to play Pokemon competitively. Cause there's no RNG, but like, I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't heard anything. while anyone talk about Temtem, right? It's is there literally a competitive, a, scene? Like, yeah. is there a competitive scene over there. Cause I, I don't know how competitive it is. Cause it just came out right like it, it was in beta like they're, they they do reward you for competitive and um they like you get prizes for it there's iv training or there's sv and tv training instead of ev and iv training um like it's it plays like pokemon it's just you have arguably probably a more balanced metagame based on the fact there's no rng right so you know exactly what metagame you're going to be getting yourself into so it's it's guaranteed rigid right so for me like, if that's what you're into, cool. But just realize that it's not going to be better than Pokemon, right? Like, I don't care if you like it better than Pokemon. It is, if, if, that, if that's your way, it doesn't make the game better than Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm making a really weird argument here. But, no, like, like, the fact that the price is going up with the story makes sense because we knew that was going to happen. But you don't play that game for the... You play, like, the, the, the story is not that interesting. It's really not. Like the game, the, the story is no better than Pokemon. In fact, I actually think Pokemon's is a little bit better because yes, the, the bad guys are kind of like the goofy team rockets and stuff like this. And it, it does get deep and they're talking about cloning and shit like that. I'm like, okay, so Pokemon, the first movie. Thanks. I, I might be terribly wrong though, because I'm, a, I'm notoriously known for getting lore absolutely off the mark, but understandable like it doesn't feel because it's meant to be the adult game right so literally it's a game where oh yeah there are people who just hate temtem battling or or just hate temtem in general they want to live normal lives there's other people who love it like like it feels more real and it has more adultness in it i'm like cool but you know we're gonna complain about the price because i could go play something like koromon or Stuff like that for a lot cheaper. It's not an MMO, sure, but I'm going to get the same experience out. So unless you're literally in it for the MMO grind level, like you grind an MMO, it's a terrible grind. It's disgusting. Now, again, I haven't played it enough to know what changes might happen with uh, like how they try and enhance the, the like the, the uh, SV and TV training, but really it's, it's not worth its price anymore. In my opinion, like it's, it, there's not enough happening with it to make me want to pay for it um, at that price. Like I paid 30 bucks for it. I'd pay 40 max. I wouldn't go over yeah. that because I understand it's MO and I understand it's going to be developed nonstop. There's no guarantee. Like why the hell, like they couldn't even, they couldn't finish everything on time. Why would I wait for the game to put out updates? And then if I wait too long, the price is going to be going up. You're almost making me invest into hoping to God you're going to keep developing this, like, Maple Story level. Like, Maple Story had enough updates in it, I friggin' pay for it, right? Obviously, I wouldn't do it at the time, but it makes me think of WoW, you know? At least with WoW subscription, you knew you were going to get updates. Not going to be great, but at least they're going to be updating. There's no guarantee with this game. It was already behind. 
right? How long do I have to wait for updates? And then I have to take the risk of, well, do I buy it now when I might have problems with money or do I buy it later for 250 more? I can't, I can't tell you how to spend your money. But when I look at it that way, I'm just like, we don't even have the full content and the price is going up. And then what's going to end up happening when you start putting out DLC? Like, is the DLC going to be free still? Like, what DLC? what's DLC going to look like? Are you just going to keep having people paying different? Like, it just feels weird. You know, if it's supposed to, if it has a story stuff of that, it just feels weird that as you, like, you, I bought the game for 30 bucks, and I'm going to be playing the same content that someone's going to be paying 50 bucks for. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's, it's bizarre to me, right? I know my argument changed six times, but that's that's how confusing this is with Temtem. I don't know. It's just like... It doesn't feel much different other than competitive and the game mechanics themselves are pretty neat. Is it something better than Pokemon? I think it's whatever strokes your goat and that's pretty much it. So. Strokes your goat. <laughs> that's a new one for me. Yeah, I think that's a new one for anyone. Jesus. <laughs> strokes your goat? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I don't mean to knock on fucking Temtem. Like, I, I no, get you know what, though? No. Not necessarily... But. I do knock on Tap. Do you know why? Because fucking fanboys who are all like, this is going to destroy Pokemon. All right. If they can't dish what they can't, if they, if, if they can't yeah, take it's... what they can't dish. There we go. I got there. Um, like, I just don't understand how. I don't know, man. It's maybe it's just privilege. It's not it's Ten Ten that went out and said that, though, right? They're not like, oh yeah, no. we're gonna kill Pokemon. So they, they love Pokemon. They're then inspired. don't fault them for that. No, I don't fault Tendo. I fault the players. I yeah, fault the fan the base that was shitting on Pokemon. I'm like, you're no better than the people who just shit on Pokemon because they shit on Pokemon. Or like they're they're sad that the new changes are are not to their liking. It's like Temtem's not gonna kill it. They love Pokemon. Like that's why I'm saying it's not worth the fifty bucks. Yeah. It's inspired. If you want to play it, go for it, right? Like I'm not gonna tell you, but I don't think fifty bucks is the price for that. No. Especially when it's not complete. You give me a full like I would rather see the full story finished, then pay 50 bucks for it. I would not pay 50 bucks right now. Not a chance. Like if you give me a full complete game and it's MMO, perfectly fine. Very valuable, very worth it. But if there's supposed to be four islands around Island 3 and it went up 250, fuck that. No. No. And if it's not going to be a, a well, if it's not going to be, like I respect them for, for like respecting their own price and their own work and they should. It's a great game, right? Yeah. But right. it's not a monster collecting game and I don't know how many monster collected games are out there that you pay 80 bucks for other than maybe like Shimigami. And Shimigami's actually like legitimately different. Where the like, fuck am I paying $80 for that shit? Whoa. No, what? I mean like if you bought it today, it would be 80 bucks, right? If they came up with a new Shimigami, it'd be 80 bucks, right? Oh, well, oh yeah, Canadian. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Canadian. <laughs> you scared me. I thought they started charging $80 for games again. No, I don't want to pay 100 bucks for games. Actually, the, ga- the $80 games that you have are 100 for us. So. Um, oh, man. Great. Yeah, it's get it's getting uh, triple digit time to have this type of hobby, but you know what I mean. Like it just like Fuck. Shimigami is still a monster collecting game, but it feels different. Has its own look, has its own feel. Like it's 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 cool. It does things differently with the breeding and the, and the combination process. I don't know much about Shimigami clearly, but I don't know. It just like it doesn't it doesn't make me go wow another Pokemon replacement yay like it's like okay it's inspired cool fifty bucks when the story's not complete. Eh. I just don't like it. Yeah. But I mean, everyone's going to have their own opinions on it. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing, I'm not going to deter you, but I just know that a lot of people who watch me a lot and, and, and watch Pokemon are like, why the fuck would you play Temtem? I go, well, <laughs> you know, we pay 80 bucks for Pokemon games. People still complain. So there's going to be people who are going to pay 50 for Temtem and still complain. So yeah, that's just I the way it is. And that's, that's the, that's the privilege of video gamers. Yeah. Yeah. I said it. Y'all privileged. No, I'm kidding. Wow. I'm calling privilege. the privilege police. No, don't call <laughs> them. <laughs> police. Don't tell, don't tell them us to get off like our it. privilege horses. I love my privilege horse. Fuck? His name is Steve. <laughs> no, that, wait, you what? named, you named the, the horse <laughs> after your boom mic holder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What Look, if Steve has many jobs throughout the day, okay? Wait, you're using Steve? <laughs> oh, man. No, this is fucked. <laughs> for those of you who aren't aware... Hold your microphone for you. Wow. Wait, what? Wait, because you your boom stand holder? 
Yeah, okay. you don't know the story of Steve? Let, let's explain oh, the like, story of Steve. like your tech guy who always no, fucks up, right? No, yeah. He's, not, he's, he's the guy who holds the microphone. Boom. And every time <laughs> he's noob just talks bad shit to him. Fucking, he's just there trying to make a, an honest day's living. All he Fucking, wants to do is earn a sandwich a day. That's all he cares about. Uh, his wife left him. He, she took the kids. He's got to pay a lot in child support. Wait, what? Aww. Yeah. You never told me he had a kid. What are you talking about? We've Steve? been every Fucking time. Steve. Literally every time Steve is brought up. I'm no, like, he, there's he no way. He have the kids, does he? No. I, no. Yeah, no. Steve no. never had kids. Are yeah. you Steve? You wouldn't lie to me. Please. Kids. If I Steve. could find the clip of the original Steve moment, you would know. Steve I swear to God, I'm, I am not lying about this. I know you wouldn't, but, like, Steve doesn't have kids. Literally, the first time he came up, I'm like, yeah, his wife left him and took the kids, so this is all he has now. What the fuck, noob? Steve doesn't have kids. This was the first time you tried to fire him. Gamma. What? Steve doesn't have kids. Yes, he does. Not anymore. What's that? I'm concerned. What? That was very ominous. <laughs> he doesn't have kids anymore. I mean, I but guess I... not because his wife has him now, or his ex wife has him now. Oh, man. He's still got to pay the child support. Fuck. Man. I mean, I was going to say they're, they're 18 plus now, but you know. Are they? <laughs> I, never, I never gave a, 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 a date. I don't think you've ever asked. I don't, Steve is literally here to do his job. Why the fuck do we have small talk? Small talk's pointless. Man, I feel bad for Steve. He gets fuck Steve emotionally and verbally. When he stops making mistakes, yeah, He's trying his best, noob. Get another chair again, over there. No, stop. Yeah. Leave him alone. Get, get corner. Sad. Corner. I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't corner. mean to have him verbally and mentally. I have, I have headphones in, Gammy. You can't hear you. No, nobody's nobody's trying to oh. save you, Steve. Get in the corner. Steve, no. You'll see the light of day when you hold the mic up, right? I hate yep. this so much. 67 degrees. He's you trying. Can't, you can't do 67 degrees, man. The rule of 67. You can't do the rule of 67. You're you're not going to be recognized. <laughs> the rule of 67. Every time. Poor fucking Steve, man. Yeah, I... poor fucking Steve. Why can't he be good? Jesus. Wow. <laughs> see, this is what happens every time, Raz. He fucking just abuses the fuck out of Steve. I don't abuse poor guy, him. Poor guy gets paid like $3 an hour. It's not even. He gets paid a sandwich. That's worth at least six bucks. <sighs> fuck me, man. That's a not sandwich? Six Wait, a sandwich an hour? No, he gets a sandwich at every job that he does. So technically three days a week if I stream three days a week. So this, this week he's getting four sandwiches. Oh my god. <laughs> four sandwiches? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> You can't pay your bills with sandwiches. He lives here for free. What do you guys think of a friggin' jackass? Yes. Oh, oh well, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why you gotta do Steve like this? <laughs> what did he do to deserve it? I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the story of Steve the Boom Mic Holder. One day he hopes to be able to see his kids, but you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure Noob will keep us updated. Mm -hmm. oh, and Noob exploded. He's probably verbally abusing Steve in the corner now. Oh no! Poor guy. His life work was just to fucking hold a boom mic, and he's not allowed to do that, right? I feel bad. <laughs> I gotta hate this man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know anymore. What is life? What is I don't life? know. I don't uh, know. Man, I'm hungry. I Me too, cheese. though. Fuck it, let's get cheesesteaks. Oh, cheesesteaks are good. I haven't had one in a long time. I haven't had one since that episode that I talked about wanting a cheesesteak. Oh, you actually got one? Yeah, yeah, I ordered one right after that. I was like, Ooh. yeah, I'm get a cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. That was that was my uh, that was my uh, my deal. I went I went and got a 
I, I remember that thing I talked about I had to do uh, in the middle of the podcast. Uh, I got to do, I gotta do that uh, where I got to go for like 10 minutes. Bye. Oh, okay. Am I alone now? I guess I'm alone now. Okay, well, this is nice. Um, I guess while everyone is gone, I'm I'm gonna do my bit because I I don't know what else to talk about, so I'm I'm just gonna do my bit. Um, and my screen just went black. It's okay. I'm pretty sure I'm still on the call. Um, today's game jammerama is the poltergeist and bonefish boss theme from Super Mario Galaxy. I don't remember what it's actually called. <laughs> um... But those bosses took me such a fucking long time to beat when I actually played Super Mario Galaxy. But the music's a banger. Like, it, it has two different uh, layers. So, like, there's the layer that you hear when you're fighting the boss most of the time. And then when you expose their weak points or whatever, you get, like, this drum and bass beat over it. And it's kind of pretty good cool and I really like it because no one here's the look it up I'm just gonna do it myself please hold god why is every why'd everyone leave me I have to go into a zoom meeting soon too like what is this this podcast is falling apart but yeah if you played Super Mario Galaxy if you fought the poltergeist or the Big ass bonefish. That's some pretty good music. It's pretty good. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna open it right now because I can't. <laughs> Why am I left alone? Oh, it's called the Boulder Geist because it's made of rocks. I get it. I get it. Do you guys get it? Because I totally get it. <laughs> Oh god, noob, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I was I really had to go to the washroom and I needed ice cream, so I got both. Simultaneously. I, what what happened? Gamma left and then oh. I had to do my bit alone <laughs> into the floor. Oh, no. Where did he go? Remember when he said he was he had to leave to do something for ten minutes? Oh no, oh, that's so oh, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. Give me like the TLDR of your bit. Because okay, I don't want to make you uh, do it again. But I don't want to miss Super Mario it. Galaxy, Boulder Geist music. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's like the the regular boss music, and then when you expose its weak point, when it's like floating around and trying to run away from you, it like slaps a drum and bass beat on it. And it's like, ooh, oh, that's pretty funky. I gotta listen. I don't think I've ever heard Boulder Geist. Let, Let me. See. See. Super Mario Galaxy. Yes, I'm trying to find it. I don't Boulder. know. Oh, there we go. I don't know where did you found it. Can you post it in here? Because I could not find it for some reason. Oh, that didn't post very well. <laughs> it tried to hyperlink and didn't. Why didn't it hyperlink? The heck? I, I don't know. YouTube. Okay. Has a pompous beat to it. Yeah, and then it has the beat. It should. It should. It's not doing the thing. Mm. There's like a phase two. Like it's all like spooky, scary, and then like there's a beat. It's supposed to have a beat. Oh, Boulder Guy's critical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, okay. Then it becomes all like techno and like wow 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 wow. <laughs> okay. It feels oh, like it's, it's not it's not drum and bass. It's some other type of beat. It's a snare. The snare oh, it is drum and bass sort of. Yeah. Yeah. It's got like the. Yeah, it does. 
It's yeah. pretty good. Ooh. But yeah. This guy just wants to destroy you through, like, rock Beethoven. Basically. That's cool. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't miss it. I was here the whole time. <laughs> sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is now an apology podcast. I'm sorry, Rats. <laughs> did I come oh, back to my man. favorite bit? You did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you were supposed to leave when I was gone. I'm gonna have to do the bit three times. Oh God! You know you have to do what? a TLDR of a TLDR. Oh my God! Wait, did you? Oh, you right. came back I actually and left. Oh my God! No, <laughs> why? Literally at the worst time. Both of you were gone, so I filled the space with my bit. <laughs> Thank you, Raz. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we got the Boulder Geist uh, theme from Super Mario Galaxy. It has like Ooh. two different parts to it. There's like the regular phase that's like super spooky, scary, and then it exposes its, its weak point, and then you slap a beat on top of it, and it's like, ooh, ooh. this is like a jam. The, I like the piano. It's, it's very. Hmm, I like it. It's terrifying, but a bop. Yup. Getting it's haunted. a boulder guys i mean it also plays when you're fighting this stupid fucking bonefish mm. and i hated that one so much because you're just in the water the entire time so if you want more air you just have to go for the air bubbles and it's, it's stressful and then it shoots like bonefish torpedoes at you and you're just like please oh, stop i think i've seen that boss fight that's fucking stupid it is. I it really it. is. Like, yeah, I spent forever on these bosses, but the music's pretty good. I like it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's very, it's definitely fitting boss music. Mm hmm. With how heavy it goes. With the bump, the bump, the bump, the bump. I don't know how to keep a beat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like it. I will have to save that to my Raz Game Jam or Gamer Jam playlist. I have Gamer Jams. Gamer Jams. Yeah, what? it's right. I have I have a playlist on my YouTube known as Raz Game Jams. I'm glad. So, like every time you buy a all. jar, you just get it. You just get a vinyl record. <laughs> Speaking of vinyl records, actually. Ooh. So one of my favorite bands, Dance Gavin Dance, actually came out with a new album back in April. Oh, nice. Um, and I got really into it, and I'm like, you know what? This album's a fucking bop. So I'm like, you know what? I don't have a record player, but I'm going to buy that vinyl because it looks fucking cool. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me just see if I can find it, the image. Uh... Amazon because it's not like a regular black and uh, whatever vinyl. Um, it's let me see. Oh, yeah, damn you, Amazon, and your buttons literally everywhere. <laughs> I can't find this in gift cards. Please stop. <laughs> uh, after burner, by the way, if you guys, if anybody likes like math rock slash some sort of screamo dealios, is this you? This the band. Did you, you just say you, math rock? Yeah. It's they do math rock. What is that, sir? If you would like to t to go to Google and Wikipedia this, it is something that I'm not good at explaining. I just know that that's the term that's used. Mm -hmm. Math rock. Style right. progressive and indie rock with roots and bands such as King Crimson and Rush. Oh, Rush is math rock. I guess so. Sweet. But there's there's screamo in it. Like there's there is screaming. Not but Rush. this is the. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm talking about specifically what I listen to. Huh. Um, that is the vinyl. Look at how fucking cool that vinyl is. That is like, pretty cool. It, it looks like a fucking sun. It's fucking cool. And I love it. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, so they're probably top three favorite bands, if not top favorite band for me. I don't know yeah. what it is. I like I like screaming. Uh, music. <laughs> well aware it, you like screaming. It relaxes me. That's not how that works, but yes. Agreed. It's how it works for me. I know. 
whenever I'm stressed out, I lay in my bed and I listen to fucking Dance Gavin Dance, Falling Reverse. Mm -hmm. the, I the, have I, like yeah. I have yeah. like a singular song by them on my Spotify. <laughs> Wait, Dance Gavin Dance, which one? Is it Death of a Strawberry? Because it's probably Death of a Strawberry. Uh, let me find it. It's because one of my friends listens to them. And they were listening to a song and they shared it with me. And I was like, this is a bop. I've never heard of De Dance Gavin Dance. Ever. Well, yeah, let me try to find it. The first two albums are two completely different vocalists. And okay. then the third vocalist, uh, Tillian, it's fucking... It's got a really, really good voice. I wish I could sing like that. Um, <clears throat> and then this one, I think the, so, I think the dude who screams, I think John Mess is. He's been screaming. I think he's been there since the beginning. I don't remember. He's been screaming for years. I mean, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite yeah. thing is in one of the new music videos, uh, "Prisoner." It. He's always like you know, energetic and and peppy when he's when he's screaming. This whole video, he's literally laying on a fucking couch, just like mouthing it, and it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Nice. So hit me, Raz. Which one is it? Uh, Son of Robot and Gospel yep. Burnout. Oh, Gospel Burnout's fucking great. That that was a good album. Uh, fucking oh, is it? Art uh, Artificial Artists? Selection. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. Okay, so actually, the Son of Robot one. Mm -hmm. If you look at the music video. There are actually four music videos that go together. Whoa! Yeah, like, the music video's fucking cool looking. If you type in, uh, Son of Robot music video. Uh, I believe this is the third in the series of music videos for it. The first one is Stroke God Millionaire. And then after you watch that, you go to um, Young Robot, mm -hmm. and then you go to uh, Son of Robot, and then you go to Death of the Robot with Human Hair. It's yeah. about a robot who's got human hair. Interesting. And, and, then, and, then, and then in the end, he saves all the animals from the evil robot cyborg dog. Mm -hmm. If you get a chance, I'd recommend just watching all four of those in a row. Mm-hmm. Because they're th the animations be like, okay. So I'm sorry, I'm getting really off topic. With this stuff, um, but with this band, you see how the album covers got like these little animals and like demons and stuff, but it's all like cartoony, like a children's book, right? Mm -hmm. The like with the vinyl I just shared with you guys. Mm -hmm. Fucking, I don't know what it is, but I love that aesthetic. It's like really really cool and all the music videos are like that too that uh involve this at least i can't be the only one that likes this aesthetic though right like i, I just look back on my my childhood where i read like books like bernstein bears and fucking little critter and i don't know some other books little critter and critters bill i mean this was back when i read books so this is like 24 years ago at that least. was a long time ago. Twenty four? Yeah. Aren't you like twenty five? I know. I was like, I was like a year or two old. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking. Wait, how did? All right, I was like, one... I was like five, twenty Wait. years. Okay, twenty. Years ago. <laughs> okay. This is back when so, I actually read books. So like twenty years ago. Yeah, that. It's, yeah, you had to have seen one of the books, right? Like, oh, I'll see if I can find what it looks mm -hmm. like. Little critter book. There we go. Yeah, this this fucking thing right here. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, this little fucking guy. This thing where he's like, "Yeah, I'm a little guy." Oh, too powerful. What the fuck? Got this him. Small ass image. Got him. Small ass image. Pew pew pew. Uh, okay, let's try this one. Yay, it actually went through. This little thing. It, it just reminds me of this aesthetic, and I love this shit. 
Oh, oh, I remember these. I have two aesthetics I love. This shit right here. And the fucking colored like Game Boys and N64s and shit, like with the clear clear coated coloring or whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that shit. I would buy anything with those aesthetics. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter if I like it or not. <laughs> Take my money. Money, money. All right, now that I've completely derailed the conversation, feel free to take burgers. What about burgers? Feel free to take it. But yeah, mm -hmm. that was my bit on going on a rant about a band I like and aesthetic I like. Mm hmm. What about you guys? Is there any kind of aesthetic that just, like, if you see, you're like, yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. I like how that looks. I don't really know. I'm sure it's hmm. something. I can't I feel like it's it. something. I, it's like, probably a bad question on the spot now that I think about it. I think it's more of a thing where it's like when I see it, I'm like, yes. Mm. Yeah. That that thing. Yeah. I got you. Hmm. That's definitely that's definitely the same for me. Like I don't know how to describe it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not good with describing visual, visually pleasing things. Yeah, you know what? I did just show you guys this mostly. Like the aesthetic that I'm talking about with like the the, the children's book style. It's like animals with like squiggly like uh, proportions and awkward proportions and whatnot. That's the best way I could put that. I like how it's just like three non-artists tried to explain. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm definitely not an artist, but that's the best way I can explain it. It, it looks kind of like a sketch, like it's like an older era kind of like artistic style. I guess that's the best way. That's probably the best way I could put it. But but yeah, if you guys get a chance, just like look up Little Critter children's book or something. You'll see what I mean. Or just mm -hmm. look up Dance Gavin Dance album covers, because they're all kind of like that. And man, Raz, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta listen to some more Dance Gavin Dance if you like that shit. I will find a song that you might like, based Ooh. off the ones that you've recommended to me. Or that you've said you liked. Not recommended. What am I saying? I'm tired. <laughs> Words are hard. They are, especially when you stand till 7 in the morning working on your bit. Um... <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. I, I like yeah. that kind of music, though. Uh, I, I swear I'm not joking when I say, like, screaming stuff, like, songs relax me. Because it's like, mm -hmm. it's like a, it's a contrast, mostly. I guess the best way I could put it is the contrast. Like, there's, like, the melodic, lyrical, just, like, clean singing, and then there's just the harsh, like, ba da 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 kind of deal. Pop out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And it's it's very soothing. Maybe I'm just fucked in the head. That could be the case too. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Gamma, you're fine. I know. I know. Fucking around. But yeah. What about you guys? You got any specific types of music that you listen to? I have kind of been all over the place throughout the years, but I've mm -hmm. mainly stuck with like edm edm understandable and like EDM. related genres i think most recently i've been on like a weird like speed core <laughs> game. all right i'm not gonna funny. lie yeah. i need to look up a fucking speed course because i don't know <laughs> think extremely fast Wild. Well, like deja vu. Dumb. No, that's zero beat. Oh, okay. Uh, let it's me let, let me give you a good example. All right, YouTube. What There's is this beat one for? artist I like called Cobario. If you're not familiar with Cobario, then maybe you might be familiar with like Camellia or. Mario. God, I'm trying to. There's, there's like a bunch of like different Japanese 
artists that do like a lot of crazy things. Like Camellia is insane because he's like, I'm gonna take every genre of EDM and smash it together. Oh my god! <laughs> and it just works. Um, Habario yeah. does some insane stuff too. Um, I'm gonna send you Villain Virus because this is featuring Camellia. It's kind of reminds me of metal. There's like random screaming and guitars and stuff and then you have kick drums going at like the speed of sound it's pretty funny oh huh. okay uh let me let me flick this up on youtube not on spotify because if it's what it sounds at. like i feel like it might give me a panic attack because the speedy <laughs> beats in the background can be somewhat terrifying like not no faster than that though. Faster. Oh god, that's that's what I'm imagining. Yeah. Uh, the worst would be if it was constantly like raising in BPM. It's not constantly raising in BPM. No, it's just like static, really like two hundred BPM ish. Okay, or it's it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna send a couple. I'm gonna send you villain virus, and then I'm gonna send you. Oh, I super uh, spelled that wrong when I was trying to look it up. Uh, shoot, where is it? I forget what it's called. It's bothering me. It's in this playlist somewhere. Is it oh, this is fucking sick. Here? Is it? Oh, Speed Complex. Okay, I need to look at this stuff. I can't tap my foot fast enough. Fuck. I, I told you it's fast. <laughs> Oh man, no, that's I like that. That's actually really fucking cool. Shit. There's this one. This one starts at like regular speed, and then it just it just goes. <laughs> it's kind of oh, funny. Yeah. This is it goes spot. normie speed, and then just zooms. Normie speed. <laughs> yep. By the way, I really like the art album art on this one. Mm-hmm. It's fucking cool. And that's where it speeds up. Holy fuck. Okay. <clears throat> yup. It, it just goes. Hmm. Alright. I like that. That's pretty cool. But for those of you listening, uh, it's not spelled Cabario with a C. It's K-O-B-A-R-Y-O. I spelt it in a completely different fucking way when I tried to look it up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, check out either Vanilla Virus or Speed Complex, like Raz has shared with us in the chat. Yup, yup. Took me yep. a solid second. <laughs> I also recommend, like, the... There's a series of albums called, I want to say, Hardcore Syndrome? <laughs> There's, like, 11 of them? Hmm. 11 of them at this point or something? I need explanation. No, there's, like, 13 of them. It has a bunch of different artists on it. A few of them are like my some of my favorite like Japanese EDM artists. Uh, if you're hit, into that stuff, hit me. I'll check it out. Good. I will give any music a try. Except Yay. country. Fuck country. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood though. I don't really like country either. I I'm really not doubting people who like country, but fuck country. I don't want the hanky panky. Pull out the banjo. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the only uh, genre I'm not a fan of. Yeah. I can I can gel with anything. What about you, Noob? You listen to disco music? Uh... Disco. <laughs> That's that's a very interesting first try. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I usually listen to. Listen to hmm? I have a friend who listens to eighties disco music. On our I, mean, I got like Earth, Wind, Fire type of stuff. Um, I don't know. I I don't really like. I have certain genres. Like I don't listen to very old school country. I don't mind like Keith Urban and stuff like that because my girlfriend loves all forms of country. So um, like as long as it's not like the the twangy you know, love song type stuff. I don't mind 
much. I'm not into rap. Uh, unless it's like Eminem or something like that. It's very hard for me to, to listen to rap. Screamo, I can't take. It hurts my head. Mm-hmm. Uh, Understandable. Techno, it's very dependent on the beat. Um, I think like the... Like if it's straight, like the like the like it sounds like they're literally taking a CD and scratching it up against a light post, and like that stuff's terrible. But if it's just like an electric like a, beat, what CD like, and scratching against a light post? Wait, what? Yeah, like, yeah, like if you're if it, if it's just like that kind of stuff, like the electrical stuff, I can't. Like, like the like dubstep growls and yeah, stuff? yeah, no, god, no, dubstep, I can't. I I just okay. don't. Like I actually have problems hearing those beats, believe mm. it or not. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very. I wanted to learn drums as a mm-hmm. kid, and uh, like if it was, a, if it was an instrument that I was gonna take, it would be, it would be percussion. But mm-hmm. like for some reason, I'm very good at keeping beats and I help with karate and stuff like that. But it's just something about that music actually disorients my brain. Um, oh. So, uh, what was I gonna say? But yeah, no, I usually, I, I think a lot of mine is rock. Like I listen to a lot of rock, alternative rock, probably. Like I'm a huge Rush fan, but then you know, there's also stuff like I like Weezer and green day and uh three days grace like i go but i i go over the place like you know i'm i i don't think i can hate something unless it's like i don't like super popular pop music even mm-hmm. though i like party in the usa by miley cyrus but like that like i usually just like one or two songs of, of lots of artists um there are only a very few number of uh artists for all like a lot of songs from them mm-hmm. it's just the nature of me but um yeah, it's uh, unless it's like bluegrass or or like old school country or techno or screamo or stuff like that. I'm usually listening to all of it. Like my my one like there's one genre that no one would expect from me, and I absolutely love pirate metal. I don't know what it is, what? but I just super fucking love pirate metal. That sounds <laughs> pretty good. Metal. What the fuck? Have you ever heard of the band Alestorm? No. Yes, I have. Okay, that's the type of shit I like. Like that's it's pretty good. It's it's just like my friend showed it to me one day, and I'm just, why is this so good? <laughs> it's so corny, but the beats are so fantastic. <laughs> I've taken like a quick look at their stuff. Like it, it sounds pretty good, but it's not something that I would just like loop constantly or anything. No, no, no. Like like, yeah, I would have to be in a mood for it. Like, yeah. Because I'm, I mean, now that I had to switch over from video game music to to pretzel rocks, mm-hmm. um, I've been I've been trying to grab like a bunch of chip tune songs and things like that. Because I love listening to video game music and just like instrumentals and things of the sort. Um, mm-hmm. But like I I range from freaking you know you can give me Beethoven, you can give me Elvis, you can give me like I like my like my family, my dad's side of the family is very musical, so I've been mm-hmm. exposed to a lot, of, and they actually like. Um, you know, like CCR and 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 stuff like that, like Celine Dion and um, that's my that's my dad, Bondi. dude. Oh my yeah, God. And I, like I Celine I, Dion, Lionel Richie, uh, yep. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh. Yeah, they they <laughs> love that type of stuff. And I swear to God, if you ever sing the song "Sweet Caroline" around me, and you're not a part of my family, I will actually clock you in the nose. Because that's ever that's our family song, and I fucking hate it. I it's just it's always they. My family loves karaoke, and I despise karaoke. I fucking hate karaoke. Like it's because as a kid, I used to do a lot of karaoke, but I was like a dumbass kid who was into it. And not say that it's dumb to do karaoke, but it's the fact that I would like. Oh, that, oh, that was, that's a story for another time. Um, but like, I, like I used to sing a lot, but like I embarrass myself cause I have a terrible singing voice. That's why I like mm-hmm. double index on my speaking voice. Um, uh-huh. but I just, I just get embarrassed, but I'm, I'm also that's a party fair. pooper. So take that as you will. But I just, I, I get embarrassed for people when they sing like shit because <gasps> I'm so used to my family no, having like, too, yeah, like, cause like my family, all four of my cousins from my one uncle are all singers. Right, like mm. they're actually all singing in plays and musicals, and they're really good. Right, mm. so even if they try to sing poorly, it's just funny at that point because I know they can sing really well. But then there's people who are literally tone deaf. I wouldn't say I'm tone deaf. I definitely sing to a lot of, like, I can't sing a cappella. That that shit's just wild, and my cousins could do it no problem. But like when you hear people who are just like, 
you know, how I faked it last episode, it just actually makes me go, please stop. I'd rather you like go throw a cat off a cliff. Like it's, it just, it really hurts, but I also have a sound sensitivity. So I play it off to that too. You cannot yeah. put me next to a speaker. I will actually look like I'm not myself. I'll have no idea where I am. Like, yeah, like, like, like I, I don't know how to say this without being an asshole. Say, <laughs> but like, be the it, asshole that I am, apparently. <laughs> like, I'm happy that people are happy yeah. when they sing. You know, Same. like even if they're not the best, yeah. even if you know, like. They're missing a lot of pitches and stuff like that. Yeah. But also, like, I can't help but feel bad, you know, when I recognize it. Because I'm like, I know you love what you do. And I want to, I wish I could help you be better type of thing. I don't know how to. Oh, I, that, I, that makes sense. It's like 10-10 players. You know, it's like, I want you to believe that this game is going to destroy Pokemon. But there's a point. There's, there's, there's a limit. I mean, I've done that with a lot of teachers, though, where it's like you're sitting there going, man, I know you're giving it your all and you have a passion for teaching, but Jesus Christ, nobody likes you. Like, there's nothing to like. You're shit. Like, you're bad, right? And you don't want to say it because that's rude and and not constructive, right? Mm -hmm. And you know they're doing it for fun and they want to, it's like, you know, pursue your dreams and don't let your dreams be memes and shit like that, right? So, like, you don't want to, you don't want to, and I say it casually, but it's because I say this so many times where I'm going, like, I don't want to, shit on anybody for doing what they find fun or stuff like this but Mm -hmm. it's just kind of like that it's almost like an empathy but it's like it's almost like you take it too seriously but at the same time you you have a reason to take it seriously like i have a reason to take it seriously and and just with past experiences that have kind of burned me and and you know like led to some insecurities of my own so if you want to play it off that sure but um no it's not it's not being an asshole it's I, i get it it's Speaking of being an asshole, I didn't get to do my bit. (laughs) Why didn't you do your bit, noob? Because you're talking about some aesthetic shit. Well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Tell me to shut the fuck up, noob. I can't. I'm not that kind of person. You know I ramble, and I love hearing you ramble because you say that we have to carry you, and yet you two spoke so much this episode, and I loved it. Well, now we get to do double your bit next time because the podcast is over. I have, I have to remember what the bit is. Um, uh, isn't it us or you asking us questions or something? Well, you asked me questions, but I also had stuff to rant about. Oh. Oh, oh do you have a rant today? Oh. oh I do have no. a rant. Are you going to put a pin in the rant or do you want to just go? <sighs> it's hot news, you? though. It's hot news. I heard hot nudes. I am done. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> well, now you can't stop the podcast. We got to talk about the. No, I need to stop the podcast <laughs> right now. Only fans at Pro Poke Noob. And if you if you want to see Noob's Only Fans, you can find him at TV slash Pro Poke Noob. You know what it would be? It'd just be me posting pictures of like my family because they're my only fans. Aww. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just post Gamma and Raz because they're my only fans on Twitch. No. Wait. Ooh, it's, wait. It's wholesome. Hold on. It's also What about but everyone also. else? No, yeah, I'm right. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. The nooblets know I joke. I jest. They shit on me all the time. We, we do this. I don't know why this is a, a friendly thing. Who who thought in human society that it would be good to shit on each other as a form of friendship? Who taught us this? Goddamn internet. Hmm. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, so uh, what were we doing? Uh, I think the podcast. Links and Zeldas? What? Links and, Links and Zeldas? Uh, oh, me and you, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. It's a segue. Gamma, go. I thought it was a segue. Um, I'm Gamma. You find me tw- Twitter, Twitch, Gamma Game, AMA, G A M M A. Find me there. Raz, speaking of Links and Zeldas. What? Hi, I'm Raspberry Blitz. You can follow me on Twitter at Raspberry Blitz. There have been a lot of bots following me, and I don't know why. <laughs> wow, the bots are so podcast. Hell yeah. <laughs> But um, I 
post there very occasionally. My stream is still on hiatus. I need to finish uh, editing my my story. I need to see stuff. the cow. I need I need to do it. I'll do it by the end of August. That's my goal. Extreme I'll have Wednesday. an episode of. Um. Also, on Wednesday, Noob and I are going to be trying to figure out how <laughs> Wind Waker co-op Randall works. Uh, <laughs> just what the Lynx and Zelda thing is about. I won't be streaming oh. it, but Noob will be. Uh, if you want to hear me screaming because I have no idea what's happening and possibly also be trying to carry Noob at the same time. Wait, uh, you're not streaming in- it? Oh, God. That changes I'm, things. I'm not. Okay. Cause, okay. Because... <laughs> Now I can't because, cheat off her screen. Crap. Because my internet is ass, and if I try I to know. help you by looking at your stream and stream at the same time and Discord call at the same time, I don't know what my internet's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get through this together. Boy. We'll get through it. <laughs> I believe in us. <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone does. I believe in the you that believes in me, that believes in you, that believes in me, that believes in you. Thanks, Gina. You got this. Yeah. I but believe. in case you want to watch the dumpster fire, twitch.tv slash um, mm-hmm. It'll be pretty bright that day uh, on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at propokanoob. I post things there. Things that you might not expect, like my OnlyFans. And <laughs> if you want to learn how to publicly speak effectively so that you can sell your OnlyFans, make sure you find me on Fiverr uh, at Andrew Simonetta. I advertised that twice this episode. That's pretty I good, know, man. Right? I didn't even pay for the advertising space this time. Get it for free. Hell yeah. Just um, took it. Yeah. You know what? I should take it, though, because we're going to have to talk about we're going to have to rant about all this shit next week that I have. Okay, well, we're looking you, forward to that rant next week. Hopefully, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want a teaser? Go for it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Sorry, we're gonna, very delayed. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about Twitch trailers because they're shit, oh, and then we're gonna no. talk about Discord partnership because it's interesting. Oh no! And we're gonna talk about. Uh, yeah, it was mainly gonna be Twitch trailers. I, I mean, we already covered Temtem. It's kind of kind of oh. funny how we actually covered that. I'm just like, oh yeah, okay. I guess that was a that was a hot topic to talk about. It's not so hot anymore. It's kind of like lukewarm, but uh, it's yeah. too hot in here. I want to I want to shit on Twitch trailers next week. Remind me. Oh no, I'm sorry, Twitch. We'll d- I'm gonna, I'll I'll make a note for that. Twitch trailers are shit. What's that? I'm gonna actually make a note. Oh, you have to explain Assassin Grandma at some point. Oh yeah, that's oh, been yeah, on this we, list we, for a while. Stories. We actually had stuff to talk about. <laughs> we did. Yeah. We just didn't remember to look at also, the notes. Never forgetty the uh, deli bird that just got thrown off a cliff by a rookity. It was quite possibly the funniest thing I've seen in Pixelmon today. Oh, oh man! <laughs> it just kept pushing it. It was like, bye. Oops. Speaking of bye. 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 We don't say bye at the end of the podcast. I'll push Noob off a cliff. Ah! Uh... I like. Oh God. Oh Gamma. Why? I'm drowning. <laughs>